Hello, I'm the Infinity Theorist Clay Spinoff Enthusiast, and you may not know this about me, but I am a personality nerd. I especially love MBTI. As an introverted thinking don, this typology system makes it easy for me to logically categorize people using cognitive functions, even if it is only a general idea. So today, I'm putting my MBTI knowledge to use and trying to type my book characters. Now, just because I wrote them doesn't mean what I say is what their type actually is what their type. You are not only free, but encouraged to debate my typings in the comment. So let's get started. I've never covered MBTI on this channel before, so I'll get a short rundown of what it is before we get started. A more in-depth video will come later, though, in my Guide to Personality series. Alright, so MBTI stands for Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. It is a system of personality typology based on Carl Jung's theory of cognitive functions. I'll leave a few links where you can read more about MBTI in the description, some online tests that are medium accurate where you can try to figure out your type, and a link to my video on the typology system when I do end up making it. For the purposes of this video, I will only be typing original characters and not any based on actual people, as that can get confusing. When typing different versions of characters such as Peter AI and Peter from Rocket Fuel, I will also be using other systems such as Big Five and Temperaments to show the difference. I'll actually be doing that for every character just to make it easier. Of course, there will be spoilers for my own writing in this video, but to avoid these spoilers, you can order my books from Barnes & Noble using the link in my link tree, which is in the description. Alright, I think that's everything, so let's get into it, shall we? Let's start with typing characters from the Peter AI series. Starting with the character that started it all, Peter himself. Now, when I wrote Peter, I intended to make him a sort of idealized version of myself, so I, if I am at all biased as to anyone's type, it would be his. I am an INTP 5.4 with somewhere between a melancholic dominant and a melancholic phlegmatic temperament, and just by looking at my temperaments there, you can see that Peter is a little bit different. Due to his slightly anxious nature, yet his constant attempts to stay upbeat for the purposes of the team, I think his temperament is melancholic sanguine. As for his MBTI type, I definitely see some extroverted intuition in both his narration style as well as his coping mechanism sort of at the end of book one. Author's Coffee, especially, feels very extroverted intuition, introverted sensing, such as Peter imagining a possible future using extroverted intuition of a seemingly mundane event because it comforts him using introverted sensing. I also see evidence of introverted thinking, introverted feeling, and extroverted feeling, which is very conflicting. The extroverted feeling I see comes in the form of what happens in India in book one, where everyone is having what is basically a panic attack and Peter tries to comfort them. However, in book two, he tries to use that same extroverted feeling and seems to have struggles with it. In book two, he also shows a lot of evidence of introverted thinking. From that, he may be INTP, ENTP, or some form of XNTP jumper. Honestly, I do not know for sure. He does show some evidence of introverted feeling, though I think that is just introverted thinking and extroverted feeling working together in a healthy way. My best guess is that he's a Dipper Pines INTP, that is to say, uses his functions in a mostly healthy way, however, does not have be the best mental health himself. So while he tries using his co cognitive functions healthily, he is an anxious overthinker, so I think his big five letter type is R-L-U-A-I, and not R-C-U-A-I. As for the other letters, he does have lower extroversion, despite being the leader of the ALG, as proven by how he stays inside his own head most of the time. He's also not organized whatsoever, and that can cause some problems with other people, but it does help with the way he thinks, which is kind of the case with me as well. As for the agreeableness, Peter, again, is an idealized version of me, which means if he is, in fact, an INTP, he uses it in his inferior extroverted feeling in a much healthier way than I do. As I said before, he tries using his extroverted feeling in India, as well as with some of his friends in book two. And for that, I think he is probably more agreeable than not. There are some cases where it is obvious that he struggles with extroverted feeling, especially in how he interacts with Jane in book two, but overall I do think he uses it mostly healthily and is therefore agreeable. As for the inquisitiveness, Peter is mostly open to new ideas and experiences and actually encourages them in the ALG since he knows he is not the best at a leadership position. So yeah, here is U1A, Peter's personality type. U1A is the universe Peter AI takes place in. Now, if you do not agree with me, I'd be happy to debate it in the comments. Civil discussion only, of course. Moving on from this version of Peter, let's type Joe Franklin, Peter's mentor. When I first started learning about personality typology, I had typed Joe as an ENFP. That is not a typing I agree with anymore. In fact, I do not think Joe has any of those functions in his function stack. I think Joe is an ENFJ. The way he takes the Eagle Hearts under his wings in between books 1 and 2 seems very extroverted feeling to me. The only reason I don't say ESFJ is because I don't see much introverted sensing or extroverted intuition in him. Now, I am open to debates, and I do see where arguments for introverted sensing and extroverted intuition could come from, but I feel like introverted intuition and extroverted sensing makes more sense for him. 
His temperament is most definitely sanguine phlegmatic. He's very upbeat and enthusiastic through both books, yet he isn't over the top about it and can be serious at the same time. I see his big five letter type as SCUAI. He definitely has high extroversion and he is always open to talking to new people or helping random people. He seems to be the most me mentally healthy person on the ALG, which is good considering he's their mentor and that shows signs of low neuroticism. He seems to be a bit spontaneous, though in a healthy way, which I believe shows slightly low conscientiousness. I believe that he is a very healthy, extroverted feeling Dom, and therefore a healthy, agreeable person. And he's always open to new experiences and trying new things as proven by his knowledge of many seemingly random things, suggesting high openness. So with that admittedly short argument, here's my typing of U1A Joe Franklin. Now for a character that I mentioned earlier, Jane Eaglehart. Jane was meant to be Peter's polar, and by polar I mean cognitive functional opposite. I originally intended Jane as an ESFJ SCOAI, and I think I accomplished that goal. Her entire character revolves around extroverted feeling and helping other people, and she exhibits signs of introverted sensing through her routine way of using extroverted feeling. While I do see extroverted feeling in her, and I believe that she is an ESFJ, I could see arguments for ESXP or ENFJ, since there could be some extroverted sensing in her. As for her temperament, that is very easy. She is sanguine dominant, at least in book two. Throughout the entirety of book two, even though she has every reason not to be, she remains the most op optimistic and upbeat of the entire team. And honestly, I applaud her for that because I, as someone who is more melancholic, could never do that. Jane is very much a social butterfly, which suggests high extroversion, and this is even pointed out by the introverted Peter throughout book two. She's surprisingly in good control of her mental health, despite literally, and spoilers for book two here, losing her entire family, and for that, I think she has relatively low neuroticism. She is also very organized, and that was even played for a joke in book two. As I said before, she is also a healthy extroverted feeling dom, which is just very high agreeableness. And as for her high openness, despite me trying to write her as the most annoying ESFJ to annoy Peter, I do see her open to trying new things and new ideas. Honestly, most of my characters, even the most stereotypical censors, have high openness. Alright, so here's my typing of Jane Eagleheart. Now on to the next character, a character I originally named after the word character, which is either the most or least creative name I have ever given a character, Carrick Taylor, the Peter AI version of him. Carrick, I feel, is an example of an unhealthy introverted feeling dom. He grew up around extroverted thinking users, and I personally think Launch as an organization uses extroverted thinking heavily, but Carrick himself sees, seems like an introverted feeling user, especially at the end of book one when he finally decides to destroy the global Earth and finally thinks for himself. And that's where I hit a roadblock with this typing, because introverted feeling users would always think for themselves. Originally, I was pretty confident that he was an INFP, but as I started thinking about it, I realized he could also be an ISFJ or even ENFP. And yes, I realize it is weird to type a character as both an extroverted intuition and an introverted sensing dom, but Carrick is a weird character. I put it to a vote on Instagram and only one person voted at all, and that vote was ISFJ. To be honest, I'm not sure if that person has read the book. But I do see extroverted feeling and introverted sensing in it, but I also see extroverted intuition and introverted feeling, and those are conflicting, so I really don't know what Carrick's type is. I'm sorry. My best guess is INFP or ISFJ. I'm sorry, but I can't figure out how to MBTI type him, so let's move on to his temperament. I think he is melancholic sanguine, which is a pretty common combination with both ISFJ and INFP. As for his big five, he seems to be RLUAI, which could also reasonably be ISFJ and INFP. I'm sorry, this one isn't more detailed. I couldn't figure out how to type him, so here are my low effort typings for Carrick. And for the last Peter AI typing, let's type the main villain, Thomas. Now, Thomas was supposed to be incredibly similar in personality to Peter, just to show what Peter could grow up to be. From that, and from my typing of Peter, you would think I tried to write Thomas as an INTP, but I didn't. I actually originally wanted him to be an ISTJ, but I think I failed at that and made him an introverted intuition dom instead. Thomas's plans tend to directly target the ALG's faults, and he seems to follow the path of one idea that he believes will work 99% of the time, as proven by the end of book 2, when the plan is put the ALG that he works so hard on using extroverted thinking to analyze empirical evidence as to how Peter acts didn't work. His extroverted thinking tried to back up his introverted intuition by relying on one of Peter's common behaviors that he does about 95% of the time in that specific scenario, but he didn't account for that extra 5%. This is why I think he's extroverted thinking more than introverted thinking, because introverted thinking does look more at the exceptions than extroverted thinking does, especially in association with extroverted intuition, and as an INTP myself, I would know that more than most people. This is also why I don't think Thomas is an INTP. Now, as for his temperament, I think he is phlegmatic dominant, maybe phlegmatic choleric. 
He has mostly calmed throughout the series, but there are some choleric outbursts. Either way, both do make sense for the INTJ villain I intend him to be. And finally, for his big fire type, I think he is RCOEI, which admittedly is the stereotypical cliche INTJ type, so it is probably easy to see from the INTJ evidence. But I think he is one of the characters I write the best despite that cliche, so here's his typing. Alright, so that's five characters from the Peter AI series. Let's move on to Rocket Fuel. Why don't we start with Madeline, shall we? The main character of the series. When I was developing her character, I wanted her to be an ISTP. I do not think I did that. I think I tried focusing on her lower functions more since I would rely on my own dominant introverted thinking to write hers and somehow forgot her dominant function. Honestly, I don't think she's in an ISTP at all. I think she's probably an introverted sensing dom, seeing as she has always trusted what she knew, especially launch. I personally think she's more ISTJ than ISFJ because I see more introverted feeling than extroverted feeling, especially when she joined the future. Gabby brought out Madeline's tertiary function after a bit of conditioning, which is how Madeline ended up joining the future. I see her as an RCUAI because she's introverted. She seems to be surprisingly low in neuroticism for one of my main characters, as proven by the story of when she took to Peter and Madeline's bully in the fourth grade. She's completely unorganized and messy, not as much as Peter mind you, but still messy. She actually is only slightly agreeable, again proven by her standing up to the bully to help her friends, and if anything, being around Gabby brings out her openness. And as for her temperament, I see her as phlegmatic dominant. She's calm, never too bright or too dark, and never really loses her temper. If anything, that is the one thing that survived from the original ISTP idea. Alright, so here's her personality. Moving on from the protagonist of Rocket Field to one of the antagonists, Addison Barrett. Addison is a lot more efficient of a villain than Thomas, and I think for that she is an extroverted thinking dom. As the type of villain she is, she very much seems like an ENTJ. She has control over the contrain, and she uses her extroverted thinking and introverted intuition to calculate how to maintain control, which may be why she is more successful of a villain than Thomas is. As for her big five in temperament, I think she's SCOEI, phlegmatic choleric. She is a social leader for more of the reason of maintaining control than actually liking people. She's confident, yet not too much, as most extroverted thinking dom leaders tend to be. She's incredibly organized and planned due to her extroverted thinking, introverted intuition nature of calculating outcomes. She isn't exactly agreeable, though she pretends to be because of her ruling tactics, and she does ha seem to have high openness, which can lead to some seemingly unpredictable plans. There really isn't much textual evidence to type her at all right now without spoiling my future writing, since she only appeared for a short time in one book, but I think these typings will prove accurate. So here is her typing. Now let's go to another of my favorite characters, Gabby. Gabby, I feel like, is a very healthy ENFJ. She has so much extroverted feeling and is always trying to keep everyone happy and somehow always keeps herself happy. Her ideas are also a lot more streamlined than some of the extroverted intuition users, such as Peter, but we'll get that, which suggests introverted intuition. And as for her other types, I see her as SCOAI, saying one phlegmatic. She is actually very similar to Joe now that I think about it, except she's just a little more organized. She... Serves as a mentor to her peers, while Joe basically is Steve Harrington style adopts a bunch of kids. Gabby is incredibly extroverted, somehow has good control of her own mind, slightly more organized and structured than not, incredibly agreeable, and also probably the person with the highest openness in the film. Actually, Gabby might be the most mentally healthy person in the entire film. Maybe that's why she's one of my favorites. Anyway, here's her typing. Alright, now on to the one I mentioned we'd be doing two different versions of, Peter, because his type is slightly different in Rocky Fuel. This Peter is a lot better of an example of an unhealthy INTP than his U1A counterpart is. He is very obviously an introverted thinking dom with his obsessions with random little things, and you can see extrovert intuition in the way he explains things. He does not do a good job of explaining things. This version of Peter, actually, I relate to a lot more than the main one. He is pretty much undoubtedly INTP. As for the other things, he seems to be RLUEI, melancholic dominant, or maybe melancholic choleric, though I think dominant does make more sense in this case. He is very anxious and worried throughout the book and occasionally loses his temper. I could also see arguments for melancholic sanguine with his excitement and mostly versus stuff. And I think this version of Peter has low agreeableness because he is an even more unhealthy INTP than UNA Peter is, which means his inferior extroverted feeling is even more undeveloped. Alright, so here's U4A Peter's typing. Now for the final typing of the video, Judy Smith. That's right, we made it. This might be a surprise to some of you that have read Rocky Field Launch Academy, but I really do like Judy as a character. Now, I am probably biased since, you know, I created her, but that's not exactly what I mean. I mean, she's actually a pretty cool character in future projects. But yeah, let's do her typing, why don't we? I think she, like Madeline, is an introverted sensing dom, and I think she, as well, is an ISTJ, though for different reasons. Judy seems to be the Gemma Simmons brand of ISTJ. 
She is nice, but there's still some extra thinking in there, especially towards the end of book one when she, spoilers, turns the future in. That is peak introverted sensing, extroverted thinking behavior, following the rules and tattletelling on everyone else. That is a stereotype joke. Now, I do believe there's evidence for extroverted sensing, so I would be opening to hear arguments for ESFP, but right now I do think she is an ISTJ. I think her temperament is sanguine phlegmatic, which admittedly is a weird combination for ISTJ, but Ju Judy is a special character type, and I do think she shows that temperament, especially in Chapter 16, when she shows her garden. I also think that she is an SCOAN. That is our first low openness, actually. She's a little bit socially extroverted, as you may notice throughout the book. She seems to have pretty low neuroticism. She's kind of organized in the way she gardens. She's mostly agreeable, though not always. And I think she's the one character on the list with low openness because she is pretty hesitant to try new things and prefers to stay with her flowers. Anyway, here's her typing. And with that, we have typed 10 FIM characters. I had lots of fun, and I actually am considering making this a series. So let me know if you want to see more uh, of me typing my own characters in the comments. There will only be more characters I can type as more projects come out. Anyway, you can try figuring out your own type by doing research on MBTI or taking personality tests. I left some links in the description to help you with both. Let me know your type in the comments. You can check out some of my other videos by clicking somewhere on the screen, and you can check out my other stuff by clicking on my link tree, which is also in the description. And that is all that I have for you today. Goodbye.